Welcome to this exciting tutorial on DevOps project for your resume. In today's competitive job market, having hands-on experience in DevOps projects can significantly enhance your employability. In this video, we will guide you through a step-by-step -step process of creating practical DevOps projects that you can proudly showcase on your resume. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced DevOps enthusiast, these projects will help you level up your skills and make you stand out to potential employers. So let's get started. Before we dive into the projects, let's quickly review what DevOps is all about. So DevOps is the amalgamation of software development and IT operation practices. It focuses on collaboration, automation, and continuous delivery to achieve faster and more reliable software releases. Building personal DevOps projects offer numerous benefits for your career growth. It showcases your ability to apply DevOps principles in real-world scenarios, proving your practical knowledge to potential employers. Additionally, these projects demonstrate your passion for self-learning and keeping up with the latest industry trends. And before we begin, if you are someone who is interested in building a career in DevOps by graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch careers with DevOps by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to simply learn Scaltech postgraduate program in DevOps. And the link for this course is mentioned in the description box below that will navigate you to the course page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. And if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button, like and press on the bell icon to never miss on further content. So stay tuned with us until the end of this video and don't forget to register your opinion in the comment section below. Now let's start with some beginner level DevOps project. So our first project is Improved Jenkins Remoting. The Improved Jenkins Remoting project is a crucial initiative in the DevOps realm aimed at enhancing the efficiency and reliability of Jenkins remoting functionality. Jenkins is a widely used automation server in the DevOps ecosystem, serving as the backbone of continuous integration and continuous delivery CI-CD pipelines. The project centers around identifying, addressing and optimizing issues related to Jenkins remoting, thereby elevating the overall performance and user experience. Now coming to project objectives, so what this project needs to be done. The first is to enhance security. So to strengthen the security measures of Jenkins remoting to safeguard against potential vulnerabilities and unauthorized access, implement secure communication protocols and authentication mechanisms for better data protection. The next objective is improve performance. Identify performance bottlenecks in the remoting system and optimize resource utilization to minimize latency and speed up the build process. Conduct load testing to assess the system's capability and scalability. And the next is stability and reliability. Address any known stability issues in the Jenkins remoting module. Conduct thorough testing and debugging to ensure a robust and reliable remote execution environment. And the next is compatibility upgrades. Ensure compatibility with the latest Jenkins release and keep up the remoting module up to date with the evolving Jenkins ecosystem. This involves adapting to new plugins, APIs and other changes introduced in Jenkins. And the next objective for this project is streamlined communication. Implement efficient communication protocols between Jenkins master and agents to reduce overhead and enhance data transfer speeds. Evaluate potential improvements such as binary serialization and optimize data exchange. Then we have error handling and reporting. Enhance error handling capabilities in the remoting system to provide more informative and actionable error messages. This will assist users in diagnosing and resolving issues promptly. And the next is feature expansion. Explore opportunities to extend the capabilities of Jenkins remoting. This may involve adding new features like agent auto discovery, dynamic scaling of agents or support for additional build environments. So if we just conclude the project. The improved Jenkins remoting project aims to elevate the performance, security and functionality of Jenkins remote execution capabilities. By addressing existing limitations and introducing new features, the project will contribute to a more robust and efficient CI-CD ecosystem, enhancing the overall experience for Jenkins users and fostering continuous improvement within the DevOps community. So this was our first project and it should and it is a beginner project which you can showcase on your resume. And now moving on, we'll see the second project, 
that is creating a simple web server so first we'll have a overview of the project or a project description so this project aims to demonstrate the process of setting up a basic web server using modern devops practices the project will utilize a variety of tools and technologies to automate the deployment configuration and management of the web server by following this project participants will gain insights into how devops principles streamline the software development life cycle enabling faster more reliable and efficient application delivery and now we'll talk about the project objectives so the first is infrastructure provisioning the project will ensure provisioning the necessary infrastructure to host the web server this includes selecting a cloud platform example aws azure and gcp and setting up virtual machines or containers to run the server the next is version control version control will be used to manage the project source code it will be the version control system of choice allowing for collaboration code management and easy rollback to previous versions if necessary and the next is configuration management configuration management tools example ansible puppet chef will be employed to automate the installation and setup of the web server software this ensures consistency across environments and simplifies the deployment process and the next is continuous integration and continuous deployment the project will implement ci cd pipelines using tools such as jenkins gitlab ci cd or travis ci automated testing and deployment pipelines will be established to speed up the deployment process and ensure code quality and the next objective is monitoring and logging monitoring tools like prometheus or grafana will be integrated to keep track of the web server's performance and health logging solutions like elk stack elasticsearch logstash kibana will be used to gather and analyze logs for troubleshooting and debugging and the next objective is security security practices will be implemented throughout the project to protect the web server from potential threats this includes managing user access enabling firewalls and applying security patches regularly the next is scalability the project will consider the server's scalability to handle increased traffic and load strategies like load balancing and auto scaling will be explored to ensure optimal performance under varying conditions and what this project delivers is that at the end of the project you guys will have successfully created a simple web server and deployed it using modern devops tools and methodologies they will have gained hands on experience in provisioning infrastructure version control configuration management ci cd pipelines monitoring logging security implementation and scalability considerations now moving to a third project that is create default base images with docker so we will have an overview of this project so the create default base images with docker project is a devops initiative aimed at streamlining the process of creating default base images using docker containers it revolves around optimizing the development and deployment workflow by providing a consistent and efficient foundation for various applications and services so docker like now we will talk about something and a brief about the docker so docker is a popular containerization technology that allows developers to package applications and their dependencies into lightweight portable containers now we'll see the project benefits or their objectives so the first objective is consistency with standardized base images all applications run on a uniform environment reducing compatibility issues and unexpected behavior across different deployment stages the next is time savings developers no longer need to configure the environment from scratch for each application using the pre configured base images saves the time and effort leading to faster development cycles the next is improved security by adhering to security best practices and base image creation the organization can minimize potential vulnerabilities and enhance overall application security and the next is scalability the project allows for scalability and flexibility as more applications can leverage the same base images reducing resource consumption and simplifying infrastructure management and the next is version control and rollbacks versioning docker files and base images enable easy rollbacks to previous working states in case of issues or bugs and the next we have is automated builds integrating the base image creation process into the ci cd pipeline ensures automated and continuous building testing and deployment enhancing the development workflow 
and the next objective for this project is reduce deployment errors. Standardized base images help identify and resolve issues early in the development process, reducing the likelihood of errors during deployment. And the next is portability. Docker containers built on the base images can run consistently across different environments from development to production, ensuring portability and consistency. So to the conclusion for this project, the create default base images with Docker projects offers a practical and effective approach to streamline the software delivery process by providing standardized, secure and automated base images. The project improves application development, deployment consistency and overall software quality. However, to overcome challenges and maximize benefits, effective collaboration, regular maintenance and continuous improvement are essential. In the successful implementation of this project, organizations can achieve a more efficient and reliable software development lifecycle meeting the demands of today's dynamic technology landscape. So that's why it's have been important to keep this project on your resume. And now for those looking to level up their skills, let's explore some intermediate level DevOps project ideas. So starting with creating a CI CD pipeline using Azure DevOps. So in this project, we'll explore the world of continuous integration and continuous deployment CI CD and how it can streamline your software development and deployment processes. So first we'll understand CI CD. So to begin, let's have a brief overview of CI. So continuous integration is a practice where code changes are automatically built and tested whenever they are pushed to a version control repository such as Git. This ensures that the code is continuously integrated and validated, caching potential issues early in the development cycle. And on the other hand, continuous development CD is the process of automatically deploying the code to production environments after passing through the CI phase. CD eliminates manual interventions and ensures fast and reliable software releases. And this is what we know about CI and CD. Now we will have an introduction to Azure DevOps. So Azure DevOps is a powerful cloud-based platform that provides a set of tools and services for software development including version control, build automation and release management. Azure DevOps offers a seamless and integrated environment for implementing CI CD pipelines. And the project goals are that is to set up a CI CD pipeline using Azure DevOps for a sample application. We will demonstrate the end to end process of automatically building, testing and deploying the application to various environments including staging and production. Now we'll talk about the project goals or the project objectives. So the first is automate the build process. That is set up an automated build process to compile the source code and create deployable artifacts. This ensures that developers code changes. This ensures that developers code changes are consistently built and tested. The next is automate testing. Implement automated testing to validate the application's functionality and ensure the new changes do not introduce regressions or bugs. And the next is continuous deployment. Establish a seamless deployment process that automates the release of applications to different environments, example staging and production, as soon as they pass the required test. And the next we have is version control integration. Integrate version control system, example kit, with the CI CD pipeline to manage source code changes effectively. And the next we have is monitoring and feedback. Enable monitoring and logging mechanisms to provide feedback on the application's performance and health during and after deployment. So for the conclusion of this project, you can create a CI CD pipeline using Azure DevOps. That's an excellent project to showcase your DevOps skills and expertise. By mastering CI CD pipelines, you will be well equipped to deliver software with speed, reliability and efficiency. And the next project we have in our pocket for intermediate levels are implement DevOps lifecycle with Amazon Web Services that is AWS. So we'll have a brief introduction that is the project implementing DevOps lifecycle with Amazon Web Services focuses on integrating the principles and practices of DevOps into the software development and deployment process using the AWS platform. DevOps is a collaborative approach that emphasizes seamless communication and cooperation between development and operations team aimed at delivering high quality software at a rapid pace. By leveraging AWS services and tools, this project aims to automate, streamline and optimize the software development life cycle. So now we'll see the project objectives, why we should consider this project. So the first objective is seamless collaboration. 
foster a culture of collaboration between development and operations team, breaking down traditional silos to enable continuous feedback and improvement throughout the software development process. And the next is automation and efficiency. Utilize AWS services and tools to automate repetitive tasks such as code deployment, testing, and infrastructure provisioning to improve efficiency and reduce manual errors. And the next we have is continuous integration and continuous deployment, CI-CD. Implement CI-CD pipelines using AWS code pipeline, code build, and code deploy to enable frequent and reliable software releases, ensuring faster time to market and better customer satisfaction. The next is infrastructure as code. Utilize AWS CloudFormation or AWS CDK to define infrastructure as code, allowing for version controlled, repeatable, and consistent infrastructure deployments. The next we have is monitoring and logging. Implement robust monitoring and logging solutions using AWS CloudWatch and other services to gain real time insights into application performance and operational metrics. The next we have is scalability and resilience. Leverage AWS auto scaling and load balancing capabilities to ensure applications can handle varying workloads and maintain high availability. And the next we have is security and compliance. Implement security best practices using AWS identity and access management. IAM, encryption mechanisms, and other AWS security features to protect the applications and data from potential threats. So these are the project objectives we need to consider for before building this project. And now we'll just have a conclusion about this project that is the implementing DevOps lifecycle with Amazon Web Services project enables organizations to embrace a DevOps culture and take full advantage of the AWS platform's capabilities. So by automating processes, implementing CI-CD and enhancing collaboration, the project aims to accelerate software delivery while maintaining high quality and reliability. Additionally, it establishes a foundation for scalable, secure and resilient applications on the AWS cloud. And if you have all these skills, you will be easily employable with these employers. So now moving on to next project that is build a scalable application with Kubernetes and Docker. So this project combines two powerful technologies, Kubernetes and Docker, to create a highly scalable and efficient application deployment system. Let's dive in and take a closer look. The main goal of this project is to containerize your application using Docker, making it portable and easy to manage. Then we will utilize Kubernetes, a powerful container orchestration tool to manage and scale your application effortlessly. So first, we'll understand Docker. That is, before we get started with Kubernetes, let's understand the importance of Docker. Docker is a containerization platform that allows you to package your application and its dependencies into a single unit, known as a container. These containers are lightweight, portable, and can run consistently across different environments. Now we'll see what is containerizing your application. Now comes the exciting part, containerizing your application. We'll use Docker to package your application, ensuring it runs smoothly and consistently across various platforms. This step simplifies the deployment process making it easier to manage and maintain your application. The next we have is introduction to Kubernetes. With our application containerized, it's time to introduce Kubernetes. Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration platform that automates the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. It provides a robust ecosystem for managing microservices and scalable applications. Now we'll see how we can deploy our application. So deploying your application with Kubernetes is a game changer. Kubernetes takes charge of managing your containers, ensuring they run efficiently and remain highly available. You can easily scale your application up or down based on the demand, making it ideal for handling varying workloads. Now we'll see the managing application updates. One of the most significant advantage of Kubernetes is its ability to manage application updates seamlessly. With Kubernetes, you can roll out updates without any downtime, ensuring smooth transition for your users. Kubernetes also enhances the high availability and fault tolerance of your application. By replicating your application's containers across multiple nodes, Kubernetes ensures that your application stays accessible even if some nodes fail. And another powerful feature of Kubernetes is the horizontal pod autoscaler, HP. The HP automatically adjusts the number of replicas based on the application's CPU usage or other custom metrics. This dynamic scaling keeps your application responsive under varying workloads. And the next is monitoring and logging. Monitoring and logging are crucial in a production environment. Kubernetes integrates with various monitoring and logging solutions like Prometheus and ELK stack, 
enabling you to keep track of your application's performance and troubleshoot any issues effectively. And now we'll see some of the benefits of this project that is building a scalable application with Kubernetes and Docker over several benefits that is efficient deployment, scalability, high availability, for tolerance. And now we'll conclude this project that is the exciting build a scalable application with Kubernetes and Docker project that is by containerizing your application with both these you'll have a highly efficient and scalable application deployment system. And now we'll move to advanced DevOps project ideas and we'll start with creating a monitoring dashboard for an application. So first we'll have an overview of this project. The goal of this DevOps project is to develop and implement a monitoring dashboard for an application. The monitoring dashboard will provide real-time insights and visualizations into the application's performance, health, and key metrics. By setting up a robust monitoring system, the development and operations teams can proactively identify and address issues, ensure optimal performance, and make data-driven decisions to improve the application's reliability and user experience. Now we'll talk about the key objectives of this project. The first is monitoring setup. The first step involves setting up the monitoring infrastructure. This may include selecting appropriate monitoring tools and technologies such as Prometheus, Grafana, ELK Stack, Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana, or other solutions based on specific requirements of the project. The next is data collection. Once the monitoring tools are in place, the next objective is to configure them to collect relevant data from the application and its underlying infrastructure. Data sources may include server logs, application logs, performance metrics, error rates, database queries, and other relevant data points. The next is, and the next is, dashboard design. The core of the project is designing a visually informative and user-friendly dashboard. The dashboard should present the collected data in a meaningful and easy to understand format. It should include charts, graphs, tables, and visual elements that provide real-time insights into the application's health and performance. The next is altering mechanism. Setting up an altering mechanism is crucial for notifying the relevant stakeholders whenever certain predefined thresholds or anomalies are detected. Alerts can be configured to be sent through email, instant messaging platforms, or other communication channels. The next is scalability considerations. In a real-world scenario, applications may scale horizontally or vertically based on user demand. The monitoring dashboard should be designed to handle such scaling scenarios without compromising on performance and data accuracy. The next is security and access control. And the next we have is documentation and training. And the next is continuous improvement. That is monitoring requirements can evolve over time. And in conclusion, by creating this monitoring dashboard for the application, the project aims to provide actionable insights, timely alerts, and a comprehensive view of the application's performance and health. This will empower the DevOps team to proactively address issues, optimize resources, and ensure the application meets its performance and reliability targets, ultimately leading to improved user satisfaction and a more efficient development process. Now moving to the next project, that is deploy a containerized application. So first we'll have an overview of this project, that is in the deploy a containerized application DevOps project, we focus on the process of containerizing and deploying a web application using Docker and Kubernetes. This project is ideal for intermediate level DevOps engineers or the advanced level. We are talking about the advanced levels that are looking to enhance their skills in containerization and container orchestration. So first, we will have a little understanding of the project. That is, we aim to take a web application and package it as a Docker container. Docker containers offer a lightweight, portable, and consistent environment for applications to run, ensuring that they work seamlessly across different platforms. The project's primary goal is to demonstrate how containerization simplifies its application deployment and scalability. Now we'll see the setting of the project. That is, these are the steps to setting up a project. So first is containerizing the web application. The next is building and pushing the Docker image. And the third is deploying the containerized application that is setting up the Kubernetes cluster. Then we have deploying the application to Kubernetes and then exposing the application with a service. So benefits and learning or the outcomes of this project are throughout this project participants or the people who want to do this project will gain valuable knowledge and experience in various areas. That is containerization, container orchestration, DevOps principles, scalability and high availability. So in conclusion, this project is an excellent DevOps project for those looking to level up their containerization and orchestration skills. By completing this project, 
participants will have a solid understanding of container based deployments and the benefits of using Kubernetes for managing containerized applications. And remember, hands on experience is invaluable in the DevOps field. So, moving on to the last project that is automate Kubernetes cluster deployment with Terraform. So, first we'll have an overview that is the automate Kubernetes cluster deployment with Terraform project is a DevOps initiative aimed at streamlining the process of setting up and managing Kubernetes clusters using Terraform. Kubernetes has become a popular container orchestration platform due to its flexibility, scalability and robustness. However, setting up a Kubernetes cluster manually can be complex and time consuming. This project addresses this challenge by leveraging Terraform's infrastructure as code capabilities to automate the entire cluster development process. So now we'll see the key objectives of this project that is infrastructure as code that is emphasizing the use of Terraform, a declarative language to define the desired taste or state of the Kubernetes cluster infrastructure. The next is automated Kubernetes cluster provisioning. The next is customizability and flexibility. Then we have multi-cloud support that is ensuring compatibility with various cloud providers. Then we have integrating with best practices that is incorporating Kubernetes best practices and security standards. Then we have some key features that is the project includes the following key features Terraform configuration files, then variable management, provider plugins, networking and security, Kubernetes deployment, continuous integration and continuous deployment. So these are the benefits and in conclusion this project empowers organizations to rapidly and reliably set up Kubernetes clusters in a repeatable and efficient manner. By leveraging Terraform's capabilities, the project brings automation, consistency and flexibility to the Kubernetes deployment process, ultimately enhancing the overall efficiency and reliability of the application development lifecycle. And congratulations, you have explored a range of DevOps project ideas that will enrich your resume and make you more desirable to employers. Remember the key is to select projects aligned with your interest and career goals. Working on these projects will not only boost your technical skills but also demonstrate your commitment to becoming a proficient DevOps engineer. Keep learning, keep building. And this was all for this tutorial. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Let's take a minute to hear from our learners who have experienced massive success in their careers. I started my IT journey with Accenture three years ago. I joined there as a cloud architect. There, I worked with AWS and Azure technologies, They're looking for a higher paying job. And DevOps seemed the right career choice. So I decided to go with the postgraduate program in DevOps in collaboration with Caltech CTME. The course was divided into modules and we had assignments. I was really impressed by how many job interviews I landed after I added the certification to my portfolio. And now I am earning 40% more than my previous job. It didn't only boost my career, but also my confidence. And if you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any question, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.